Jason with Denworks got something pretty cool today 1976 Jaguar XK V12 Stanley's totally thinking hey I don't want a Mack truck bulldog on the hood but he's a little jealous of this Jaguar so anyways really really cool car I've always kind of wanted one of these I had an XKE uh, 1971 that I sold on bring a trailer or bring a trailer probably I don't know maybe a year and a half ago or so really neat car but I love these cars with the V12 in it they're just uh, they're just a neat piece of machinery so this car here is nice too because it's uh, originally green and it's been repainted once and I love the camel colored interior just classic uh, English car so you know and overall it's just a really really nice driver you know something you can enjoy and take to you know cars of coffee and or just uh, cruise the countryside so anyways we'll just do a little walk around i'm going to show you the lights you know we'll put it on my lift show you the interior just general things uh, about it we'll go ahead and show you the lights first we've got bright lights headlights marker lights we got blinkers left and right you can see here it's got the original license plates on it from morgan they, I think they started putting those on in 1971 or 72. Earlier ones were blue. Um, so this has probably been an Oregon car most of its life. So let's just walk around the front and we'll work our way in the back. You're going to notice little chips, little scratches, and different little things around the headlights. But no rust around the headlights. The grill is in actually really nice shape. The head badge actually is pretty nice. Overall, you can see the V12, finished AAA badge, which is kind of cool. I went ahead and just left it in there. A lot of times I like to keep that kind of stuff, which is kind of, kind of fun, just to put in my little collection. But, you know, that's been on there a long time, so I thought I'd leave it. If you look at the front bumper, overall, pretty nice condition. You're going to see some little marks and, and little things on it, but the front's pretty, pretty good. The back one has a few more little divots and stuff. Right here on the chrome, you can see a, a little uh, divot taken out of that. But overall, looks pretty nice. And the nice thing, you know, it's a 1976, which, you know, all these cars started getting rubber bumpers. But I think Jaguar did a nice job with the chrome and integrating the rubber underneath there. So I think it still has that classic look to it. And I like the Mark II. Uh, um, styling too, you know, it's just it's just a classy looking car, and I love the way the headlights kind of have an eyebrow over. You can see here, there's a little venting underneath there. I think it's it's kind of neat, but definitely a lot of style. Really neat car. So we'll just look down the side. You know, again, it's pretty straight. You know, not a lot of wobbles. You can see, and I'll show. I'll put, do a close up over here on that back door. There's a couple little dings. I think someone probably had it in a garage and the door hit it there a few times. But if you look around the wheel lips, really, really nice condition. Again, there's no bubbles or anything like that. Original Jaguar rally wheels. And I'm, I like the tires, you know, Royal uh, Tiger Paw. They're 170 uh, P215, uh, P 7015s. And they're actually in a really nice condition hardly anywhere on them. I love the little Jaguar emblem there. You can see here another emblem. You know, it's got the Jaguar mud flaps. Actually our cat Hazel, you've probably heard about Stanley and Hazel, but Hazel's never got in any films. That's my wife's uh, cat. She actually would love this car. Should have had her out here looking at it. If you look around the windshield you'll see a couple little divots 
you know, little tiny scratch right there. You know, just different things from road wear, but no cracks and no big chips or anything like that, except these little tiny ones, um, which I really wouldn't call a chip, just more of a divot. You know, the gasket looks pretty good. You can see some little cracking in a couple little spots, you know, that are starting, but see underneath here, it's a little cracking. The roof looks really nice, in good condition. If you look inside the gutters, you, know, you can see all the spot welds in there look clean. Right here is where I was talking about on the door. You can see little touch-ups. It's little door dings that happen there. And you can see a couple on the trim on it as well. But overall, you know, the car looks nice. Definitely driver. And that's kind of the way you want these, these cars to be. You can see here where some chipping and stuff and some touch-up paint was done on the side there. If you have it up on my lift, you can see, yeah, you can actually see it here. You can see some kind of, um, maybe there was some filler work or paint issues here. You can see just a kind of, just some kind of lifts right there. You would never notice it standing up here looking down. Uh, but when you get down close, you can kind of see these little spots right there and hopefully you can see those. Back here on this quarter, you can see some checking and they did do a little couple little touch-ups uh, right there on some of the checking. And a little bit of checking here as well. And a little scratch there. But overall, it looks good. You can see a little crack right here. The guy told me he had accidentally bumped into something in the garage and it cracked the paint right in this area. And I don't know if from the factory if they put lead here or if there was an old repair. So I can't tell if it's it might be a filler crack um, as well. You can kind of see there, but yeah, I actually bumped it just a little bit. But overall, you know, the car looks good, you know, going down the road. And it's it's actually a really sharp car. So we'll flip it around here in a minute and let you take a look at some more stuff. Okay, here we are, I flipped it around so you can see it a little bit better. You know, just with the lighting. You know, we'll just start off here in the back. You can actually see, we'll turn on the tail lights for you so you can see them. We got brake lights, got blinkers, got your left, we got our right. You can see the marker light is working as well. And no one felt like running me over. You can see the uh, reverse lights work. If you look up underneath here, you can see the uh, license plate lights are working as well so you know overall mechanically it's in pretty good shape electricals and stuff seem to be working go ahead and rev it up a little bit you know, it's got dual exhaust you know the chrome on the back looks in pretty good shape there's the XJ 12 see some little tiny that yeah, light looks pretty good you see some little little checking you know pretty minor in it but it it actually looks really good actually overall you know the bumper you're gonna see some scuffs little chunks kind of taken out in different spots on the bumper you see here you know I know this has rubber bumpers but I don't really mind them too much because Jaguar did it right. They left a lot of chrome and everything and, you know, didn't make it look like some big, you know, thing like an MG or something like that. So it, it actually still has that classic look. If you look down the side, you know, again, pretty straight and little waves, but nothing major. I love how the quarter panel tapers back like that. You know, it looks good. We'll look on top of the uh, trunk lid here, right there you can see big long scratch that's been touched up but overall the trunk looks pretty good you know it's just a really 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 nice driver for somebody and something you know that someone can tinker on and, and have fun with it you can see here you know no rust behind the back wheel looks really good you can see around the wheel lip very nice a couple little chips there 
but overall in pretty good uh, condition. Look here at the bottom of the doors. Again, you're gonna see the little, little chips down here. You'll see one little rust bubble right there in the door. Maybe another one starting there. We'll hopefully you can see that. Other doors look look clean. Rockers look clean on it. And I love that it has all the mud flaps. You know the Jaguar mud flaps. You can see that. Hey, go ahead and show us the windows working. You can see this window. See the driver's one. It's going up. Or it's going down. This one's a little bit slow, not bad. Did it stop right there? Yeah. That's kind of a safety thing. And then if you look at that one back there. I think that one did have issues. Was that one running slow? Yeah, it was running slow, but now it's not running. Yeah, that one's deciding not to uh, work. Actually, try it right here, real fast behind. There you go. That's a little bit slow, but something must be wrong with that switch in the console. There's another switch in the back, but it's it's really slow, so it might need help. But um, it's probably a switch issue. Could be. I'm not sure. So, anyways, just wanted to show you those. So you always got to have something fail on a video but I'm just trying to be honest about the car in general so that probably needs a little bit of uh, working but it, it's good that it's it's going down we'll get it back up yeah, but it could be connections it could be a weak motor not 100% so overall everything looks pretty good here I just wanted to show you I just hopped on this other side make it go down you know it will go down but I'm obviously helping it and then it stops right there for the safety and then go up you know you can actually get it up but i've got to help it a little bit so it's probably uh it's probably a weak motor but definitely that switch isn't working on the uh in the console up front but only working in the back so again you can see the door is actually shut real nice the interior is in nice condition. You know, it hasn't been restored or anything like that. I think someone did die in the front seats at some point, I'm guessing. But you can see there is definitely some wear you know, on the leather. You can see this is rubbed through on the piping near your typical cracks. You know, I don't know, maybe it hasn't been done. It just kind of looks like it, it had at one point. You know, but this is kind of a for vintage jag love the leather but sometimes it gets cracked like that but it's actually nice to sit in you see the dash i love the the way the instruments lay out you can tell why cougars uh, stole the idea you can see some cracking right here on the edge of the dash these little vents here are not secured in there you can see there was some little nubs here on the uh, corners that were supposed to go into these little holes right here. But now, they just sit in there. You can see the console here. It's got some little cracks on the pad. You can see inside. Right here you can see, I showed you the cigarette lighter, it doesn't stay down, but they've gotten it hot before and set it, you can see some little rings here. I don't see any signs of any smoking in the car, per se any burns or anything like that, and it definitely doesn't smell like smoke, um, but someone did mess around with that lighter. You can see the wood, has some little cracking and checking in it pretty typical
if you look right here in this little tray it's cracked right there you know overall it's just a really nice driver there's the clock again so it's actually working um, it's just a really nice driver that someone's uh, cared for through the years I'll show you the windows uh, here in a little bit you can see the door panel it's actually in fairly nice condition you can see the materials pulled back just a little bit it could be just tucked back in and, and glued but the nice thing about this car it hasn't been uh, any major damage or anything like that and rust issues you look inside the pillars here very very clean you know, nothing's been hit up in here you can see original tags up there as long as uh, underneath the hood as well you can see the catalyst sticker there we'll take a picture of that so you can see it let's go ahead and look in the back here real quick you know, this seat's really nice you know, I don't think anyone's really sat in this seat too much you can see the door jam looks looks in nice condition Yeah, again, the door panel working, or looks good. I was going to say I don't know the condition of the speakers because the radio doesn't work. But the, you know, the gaskets and stuff look nice. They're pliable, look nice on the car, except right here. You can see it split and shrunk. So uh, otherwise than that, I mean, that's something you're probably going to want to put a section in here or get new gaskets. Um, to keep rain out but it you know we haven't uh, been driving it around in the rain and it stays pretty protected there so you know overall the rest of the gasket looks good and I doubt that you could stretch that back up there almost looks maybe like they might have tore off or something but I'm not sure I'll go ahead and pop on the other side I didn't get that other door shut all the way but you can see the door shut nice you know this here gasket looks good all the way around and definitely you can see the difference in the way the gasket is there was actually a little seam right there on that other one so it the seam looked like it came apart and it uh, came apart here so might be able to just fix that actually with another little piece of gasket you can see here, seat looks good, jams are in nice shape. You know, there's a lot of, you know, the car's been driven, it's not perfect. Um, you know, some negative little things, but a lot, a lot of positives for sure. And I'm not trying to beat my own car up and things, but just trying to show you exactly what it is. So when you get it, there's not any surprises you know because it is a, a good car but in these little things here and there and I love that it's a V12 I love that it's green I love the buckskin interior you know it's just classic English car you see here the GM looks in really really good good condition you see here very nice no accidents or anything we'll take a look at the door panel on this side and this gasket here is it's just messed up just a little bit might be able to heat that up you can just see it's kind of bulged out right there but I might be able to heat that up and fix that but overall I mean you look at the carpet really really nice condition overall so oh well, one last thing we'll take a look at barn room here we'll take a look at the, the headliner you know the headliner looks really really good you know a couple one little tiny you can see here it's kind of just like a little bump but it's not it's not really loose so but the rest of the headliner very nice uh condition you can see the these are a little poofy. That's pretty typical on these cars. 
So the rest of the dash looks good on this side. So okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look underneath the hood. There's a lever underneath the dash, and then there's another little lever right there. And that's a whole lot of engine V12 under the hood. I, I love looking at these underneath here. You know, the XKEs with the V12. Actually, that was one of the first um, cars I probably sold on, on Bring a Trailer with the V12. So I know a little bit about them to get me in trouble, but uh, I just think they're an awesome motor and very, very, very unique. You can see we actually changed the uh, valve cover gaskets and the uh, cam cam tower uh, seals. So, and it's got new in intake manifold gaskets as well and um, kind of just a basic uh, cleanup of the top end. So, everything looks in pretty good order. You know, no one's messed with any wiring or anything like that. Nothing crazy. You can see here it's got a crane cams XR700 ignition uh, system there but you can see what, the, what is nice no accident damage in here everything looks really really clean we'll hop over on that other side here in a second it's got a factory air conditioning but it's not working uh, right now go ahead and start it up a little bit That was a cold start. Sometimes it takes two times, and we had to start it today. It just depends. You know, if it sits a couple days, it might take a couple times. So overall, let it warm up. We'll hop on the other side real quick. Just look on this side. Everything looks pretty clean. General. See this apron. No accident damage. Original tag. Underneath there, we'll take a photo so you can see. Another stamp here. So, go ahead and uh, start, or uh, go ahead and rev it up a little bit. You can see it sounds nice. You know, nothing, no weird noises or anything like that. Very smooth. Rev it up one more time. You know, great running a uh, little motor, but as you know, when you buy an English cars and stuff, there'll always be, you know, things to tinker on and uh, have a little bit of fun, but definitely a unique car and pretty cool. Hey, we're going to take a look under the, under the trunk here. You know, actually in pretty nice uh, shape in general. You can see here the original carpet. Obviously, it's worn, but that is the original carpet. Uh, in it, and it's kind of a it's kind of a felt velvet uh, type uh, material, but you can see here it's just worn through and stuff. But it's nice to see that it's actually a really original. And here you can see the filler panel; they're all original uh, paint. Right here is the jack. The jack is in there. Go ahead and look underneath here. these couple little screws here you just pop these you can see underneath here we got the spare tire you know but overall looks good we'll take the uh, spare tire out there so you can take a look but you know there's not any rust issues or anything uh, in there so I just wanted to show you that and actually the wood you know this is a wood uh, panel is actually in good shape you can see there lead laminate still looks good it's kind of a Kind of a plywood so anyways i hope that helps just do on a general uh, look at the uh, trunk in general you can see here and i don't know what they are there's three little holes so i'm not sure exactly what that that is but if you look around the trunk gutter it looks good all the spot welds are there all the spot welds are here and look pretty clean. The rubber gasket looks in good shape as well. I don't see any any cracks in it. And the uh, fiberboard, if you 
you look up here is in good condition and right here the the lip a lot of times stuff like this can have issues you know maybe it was hit or something like that but this is actually in really good condition as well so overall I hope that helps you a little bit and we'll show you some more stuff Hey, I just wanted to do a little cold start uh, here for you. You can see the gauges. You got oil pressure, voltmeter, speedometer, tack, you know, water, and and a fuel gauge up there. The fuel gauge, I'll just mention, it's only working on uh, one tank on the uh, driver's side. This little button, the guy told me not to push it. Of course, I haven't tried to, but sometimes when someone tells me not to, I do it anyways but I haven't done it yet but that one switches uh, to the second tank and he says that valve or something like that's not working so I haven't touched it I've only put gas in the one side you see the clock is working I'm not sure exactly on the uh, accuracy of the time and we'll go ahead and crank it over here real fast sometimes it takes two times and sometimes it takes one so we'll see what it does you can see the idiot lights are working there I did it on the first try, so lucky day. You can see the uh, tax working. See the oil pressure starting to raise. Usually goes around 40, and uh, you can see the uh, voltmeters raising up as well. And I guess a few other things we could check in here while we're looking, since it's a little dark. You can see the you can see that the lights work the dash they're actually working here turn them on. map light nothing's happening when they do that interior light you can see that. Turn that one on. The radio doesn't work. It uh, barely stays in there. And actually, I can't take the faceplate off, so that's something I don't even want to fix. I'd rather put an original one on, and if I could. Um, you can hear the fan. Cigarette lighter. I don't think works. I'll show you the windows when we're, we're outside. I kind of hold it, just holding it down there. Yeah, and you can see the, see if this lights up here. Oh yeah, you can see this illuminates here. You can actually see the light uh, in there. So, cigarette lighter. Actually, it was hot. I did uh, put it up to my face and almost burnt myself. But it does, uh, this work it just doesn't stay in so you can use that for a USB which is nice so we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more things here in a second you see the the wipers are working and I'll show you some more stuff when we we go outside so we'll go ahead and pull it out walk around here in a, a few minutes one last thing there's their uh, oil pressure it's up at 40 now so anyways we'll show you some more things hey here we are out uh, behind the wheel of the Jaguar it actually drives really nice you'll hear a little bit of wind noise uh, coming through the you know the door gaskets and stuff but I mean it's not too bad overall you can see it actually drives pretty straight. Seems like it likes to drift to the right just a little bit, but it's not that noticeable. What I notice the most is that the steering wheel is just a little off. Um, it's kind of it's just kind of kink, not kink, but it's just kind of drifting over to the left just a little bit. So here you can see it's driving straight. You can just see where the steering wheel position is. You know, it's just off just a little bit.
bit, but um, the steering feels good. It, there's a little looseness, just a little bit of play, but I don't know if that's the way Jaguars are in general or if it's just, you know, a car with 136,000 miles just worn a little bit. So, but it's something you get used to pretty fast and really enjoyable uh, to drive. You know, it's just it's definitely a luxury car that, you know, you can just pop in, go to Cars and Coffee and, you know, take your wife out or vice versa. Maybe your wife wants to take you out and, you know, just have a good time. So we'll just uh, spin around and drive around here. I just wanted to show you the gauges, why we're driving. We did the cold start. You can see the tack is working, odometer's working, speedometer or gas gauge, temp gauge is reading probably a third up. Oil pressure still at uh, 40. And you can definitely see our volt meter. There's a huge, uh, <laughs> right in front of the road. I don't think we got it on the camera there, but there was a huge blue heron that just flew in front of the car. It's kind of freaky. Anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. We'll pull over in a little bit and just enjoy the ride for now. Hey, we're gonna check out the Jaguar up on the lift here. Still need to put the sides on the shop here. You can see it's all open, but we'll get them on there. So this was a horse arena that we uh, poured concrete in. You can see down there. And we gotta put sides on and build our shop like our other one, so. Just wanted to walk around here underneath the lift and just show you different things about it. You're still gonna see all the still photos, but I like doing a video underneath uh, so you can see a lot more things in general that we're looking at. So we'll go ahead and uh, just start here from the front to the back. You can see the balance looks in pretty good shape. Overall, it's not rusty, hasn't been hit or anything like that. I'm kind of guessing when they repainted it, they didn't paint this part of the valance. So that's probably original paint there, and then that's the new paint. But everything looks in, in order underneath here in general. The core support looks in good condition. I haven't seen any signs where it's been hit. Up inside, here where the shock tower is, you know, no rust, no damage. You know, it looks looks nice. Go over here on the other side. You can see up here, you know, inside the wheel well and stuff looks looks all really clean. Sorry, it's kind of dark in there. I got a little light here. Brake lines look good. And you can see here, these ones here, the little metal ones, those have been replaced on the uh, disc brakes there. So we'll look here underneath the engine. You know, the rack looks in good condition. The, no cracks or anything. Go ahead and look at this tower here. Again, it looks, looks in good order. You know, we took the, the wheels off, you'll see in the picture. In the pictures, uh, and the brakes look good on it in general. We replaced the oil pan gasket, had a few little seeps. We replaced the transmission gasket. You'll still see a little bit of residue going on here with the transmission. So I don't know if you'll get a couple little drips after you drive it. So I'm not 100% sure uh, where that's coming from. You know, maybe you'll get a drip. You know, sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it does, so, um, but we did change the tranny pan and it was leaking pretty good so it could be a little residue I'm not a hundred percent we re replaced the valve cover gaskets on it as well and the cam tower uh, gaskets as well and so there's a little bit of residue you can see underneath the motor in general but nothing major at this point after we replace those 
Um, I mean, after, after, after we replaced them. So, um, anyways, we'll go ahead and look here at the bottom of the floors. Looks in good condition. You can see here, this floor might have been dented up just a tiny bit. Look at the other side. It's pretty flat. You can see one little indention there. You know, the floor pans look really, really, really good on it. Not any issues or anything. Exhaust looks in good shape. Haven't seen any leaks or anything like that. Rockers look good. You know, all the little drains are open. You can see some runs in the paint right there across the bottom of the rocker. Go back here. You know, the brakes look good. You know, it stops nice. You can see all the area here looks in good condition around the rear end. Yeah, it's got plenty of brake pad. You can see there. You know, we haven't had any issues with the rear end. You can see a little bit of seepage around there, but you know, nothing major. Just around that nut. In the back of the quarters, you know, usually there's a lot of rust and stuff that happens here. These these actually look really good inside the wheel well. Looks in good condition as well. I haven't seen any rust issues. Hopefully you can see up in there. You know, in here, sometimes they get rusty. And it it looks in good good condition. Right here, back on the uh, back balance, you can see some little bubbling here. And I'm guessing that's probably a little rusty. There are some little rust bubbles that are happening in there. But the rest looks pretty good. That'd be fairly easy to fix. But look here at the bottom of this quarter. One little thing right there you can see. But the quarter looks good. Go ahead and look at this other rocker here on this side again. You know, it looks actually really clean and not rusty. You know, pretty typical of a car that's been driven and not restored. Um, everything looks in pretty good order, but you know, it has little, you know, needs and stuff in general for a driver. But overall, mechanically, I think it's in good shape. You know, again, you're going to still see a little seepage and stuff on the uh, the engine and stuff you can see up in there. You know, again, I think that's probably before we uh, did the uh, valve covers and, and cam tower. So, anyways, I hope that gives you a good overview. You know, the car's a great driver, and I think it's going to last a long time for somebody. And, you know, something, you know, someone can enjoy you know I think these cars are pretty valuable I mean I've always liked them and I think that you know they're undervalued for sure so I think it's a I think it's a good car to to get into and and enjoy